Lucas Media. My bad, y'all couldn't make videos yesterday because I actually broke my MacBook, so I got to use my backup one. I seen Bronny James yesterday, right? I, I, I set the timer on my phone to make sure that I watched this game. Because, you know, we want to see him play, right? He played the California Classic yesterday. He scored, what, total of four points. He shot two or nine from the field, 0-1-3 from deep, and he missed both free throw attempts. He also had two rebounds, two assists, and one steal. Now, I mean, I'm just going, I'm just going to chalk it up to... This is his first game. I hope so. Because when I saw him play out there, he seemed no different than when he played in high school and no different than he played in, at USC. He doesn't seem dominant. He seemed like he'd just be standing around. And then he wasn't. I mean, he scored four points. That's the amount of he scored for the USC. So, I don't know. I really hope that, that Bronny's able to do it. I'm actually rooting for the kid, honestly, because as a black man with a black son around that age, you want to see your sons be successful. But if Bronny goes out there and, like, today and tomorrow, if he goes out there and he lays an egg, I'm sorry. Like, it, it's it, it, the kid going to face pressure that he ain't ever faced before it's one thing it's one thing to be a, a, a all-american which a lot of people question it's another thing to go pro and a lot of people question it but it's another thing to get drafted by the same team get a guaranteed contract which isn't that that's almost unheard of i know rich paul got somebody else but come on now brody and then for him to go score four points in a california classic could you imagine what's going to happen in the G League? And then he he was out there getting crossed up. and But like I said, it's not a knock because I want to see Bronny succeed. I do. But man, this kid is going to have pressure like nobody else. What Lonzo had is peanuts compared to what Bronny's about to go through. And I believe they got another game today. Like, I'm Bronny, Bronny going to have to play the whole time. They better do not shut him down until the start of the season. Because it's going to be a bad look. But I don't know. I, he... I'm not seeing, I'm not personally seeing it yet, you know, and I try to, we try to hold off on criticism because he was a kid, you know, he played at Sierra Canyon at USC, but he a grown man now, you make $8 million pretty much from the Lakers, we we have a right to be critical now, and yesterday just wasn't the day, and I did see where the, the, the corporate media tried to spin it, no, no, we saw what we saw, we saw what we saw, Bronny should be in his second year at USC or somewhere, and this is just my honest opinion. And then I seen Gil's arenas, and I seen where Gil was still defending Bronny's decision by basically saying that, you know, in three years, Bronny would be a way better player than he would be as a senior because of the G League development. But the man got, he making $2 million a year. He could be making $2 million a year to play in the G League. The G League. And shout out to the G League. It's no, I'm, it's no knock at all, honestly. But I'm saying the man got a guaranteed deal. The number 55 overall pick to the same team as his dad. I, Man, I, I don't know. I really, if, if, if Bronny is not a decent player, this really is going to hurt LeBron James' legacy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And people forget the last thing you did, not what you built over all these years. So he can have all these stats and all of that. But at the end of the day, you really thought this decision, honestly, in a lot of people's eyes, would it be, would it be worse than him leaving Cleveland the first time, freezing out game of, I'm about to say game one. When he pretty much went cold during the Mavericks when they won they, they title. Like, this is way worse because you got your your son drafted and pretty much said nobody touch him. You know what I'm saying? Which Paul did, allegedly. And just for him to be scoring four points, the same points he scored in college. But I don't know. Like I said, y'all remember Alonzo Ball first game. Now, granted, it was a professional game. You know, I'm mean, a regular season game. He went cold the first game, but then the second game, I think he had a triple double or something somewhere along those lines. I'm hoping that this is for Bronny, but if Bronny just gives us four points all summer and they shut him down, whoo, man, it's, it's going to be a long, long season. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.